Okay, so going back to just the SketchUp main screen, like you see right here, all right, go up to Products, go down to SketchUp Viewer, and it's going to pull up this screen, which they have a product that sells for thousands of dollars that people use for, you put these goggles on and it does this reality. virtual reality, uh, uh, 1400 bucks, right? Okay, so we're not dealing with that. Just keep on going down, keep on going down. Keep on going down. You just keep on scrolling down until you get to SketchUp Viewer. Now, if you have an iPhone, you could you actually go to app the App Store. If you have an Android, you go to Google Play, and that'll get you your mobile version for it. Uh, and I have it on my phone. I have it on my uh, little Android that I have. I have it on a couple different devices. It's all free. Oh wait, no, the the Google, the Android, you actually have to pay $9.99 for it, okay? Then you can go down a little further and here's the SketchUp Viewer for your desktop. And then you would go to this and you have two options, Windows or Mac, right? So I'm gonna download for Windows right now. It's uh, giving me the typical, typical thing. In fact, I think that's how fast our, <laughs> I think our internet is here. Um, and let's just see if I, if it's showing up. Uh, and downloads. This this internet is so fast. And so now I'm just op I'm y you're used to this, right? Okay. So you went to downloads. It's a it's a um, executable file. It's doing it right now. It might ask me a question or two. Um, here it's okay. I'm showing it down here, right? Yeah, it's going to ask me the typical questions. Uh, it's going to say yes to your device. It's installing it. Again, it's viewer, right? And we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Again, this is pretty fast, so it doesn't take too long. At home, it might take 10 minutes for that to happen. Um, it'll probably ask if I want to put an icon on the... On the um, uh, desktop just stick with the the standard whatever it gives you don't change that that's if you really have know what you're doing you want to change it for some reason but it's installing it right now on this computer because I didn't have it on this computer before I have SketchUp but I didn't have SketchUp viewer so basically that gives you uh, the opportunity to okay so now I have an icon on my desktop Right? Uh -huh. It wasn't there before. Now this would be typical. I double click. The first time might take a you know just a little bit longer. And you know SketchUp is like especially SketchUp itself. It it's gonna use your the resources in your computer. If it's an older computer, doesn't have a lot of RAM, it could cause you some problems. You know, I I don't think I would try to use a lot of it. The first time through, obviously, I need to do the. Uh, this kind of stuff. Say it's okay. Okay. Now it looks and feels a lot like SketchUp. It's got the same kind of thing. There's even some stuff over here I've never used. But what you're going to do then is file, and I'll send you a file, mm -hmm. email-wise. And you're you you when you click on that file, it's going to say, "What do you want to open this up with?" And and you're going to say, "I want to open it up with SketchUp Viewer," or you can save the file to your desk. And like, here's a different file. This is this is a SketchUp file. I can tell by the icons. And I'm going to open that up. This is a miter saw stand that I want to build. And um, you can see, you'll eventually see how this triple laminate comes into play, like on this one. Come on, open. There we go. Oh, that's somebody else's. I didn't mean to do that. Um, that was actually the stuff that you uh, find out there um, on the internet. That that's already drawn. This was already drawn up by somebody else. Again, somebody drew that saw on SketchUp. Talking about having too much time on your hands, you know. But it's really fun because you can go in, and here's your here's your project. Um, Again, I gotta find one where I have a SketchUp drawing. 
I'll take this one. Okay, this is a, this is loading a drawing that I had done, an earlier drawing of that one with the diagonal in it, the firewood stand. Okay, so then what you need to learn in SketchUp Viewer is just basically these icons over here. There's one that says Orbit. See that? Mm -hmm. If you click on that, it changes your cursor to this red-green thing, and then you just learn with your mouse, you practice with your mouse orbiting around. The real trick to that is you don't put this thing way over here and try to orbit. Instead, you always have to focus on where is it that I want to be my, I think it's called, it's called the fulcrum. I believe the, the word is fulcrum. It's the center of, if I put it right there, then most of my, and this just takes a while to figure it out, okay? And if you have a touch screen, you can actually use your finger to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's really fun because you can just spin that baby around. The other one that you're going to use is this thing called a hand. And that one's where you just basically slide in it. It stays the same. Yep. You have a, a what do you call those things? A magnifying glass. That's your zoom. Okay. And um, don't worry about that. I think those are the three you're going to use most of the time. And it's really good to learn the, the speed keys for those. And O is for orbit. Uh, H is for, I think it's H. Nope, it's, it's P. Let's just see. See my cursor right now? It looks like that green thing. It's possible speed keys don't work on viewer. Right, so I got my hand now. Nope, speed keys must not work, or maybe I don't have them set up. So in SketchUp, I can just hit a speed key. But these are the three you're going to use, orbit, hand, and zoom. That's going to get you by. So if you want to go look at the bottom of this thing, you're going to go up here, hit orbit. Now you can start going up underneath, right? Now you want to see what's going on right here. So then you're going to go up and hit zoom. And you're going to zoom in. But now you're losing it up here, right? So that's where you have to learn to use hand, zoom, so you, you need to start playing with it. But you don't have to worry about damaging the drawing because it's, this is a non-editable thing. I think I might be able to do some stuff with how I see it. Like, look at this. I can see what's inside there. Okay. And there's my... Um, there's some stuff going on in here with the drawing itself. But that I picked up over here. It's how you display it. You can do like this one here where it's kind of a shadow. You can do where you get the wood with the grain, right? This would be pocket holes. Um, you can do it smooth. You can do it white. That's good for printing. You can do it with that other thing there. You can do it with uh, various combinations of some of these things. Like this is kind of a cool one. And this is available to you right now, and it's free. See how you're looking inside there? And that's really handy when you want to look at how far a bolt is going in, and if two bolts are going to cross in the middle, something like that. Okay? So there we go. That's SketchUp View.